Hello everyone and welcome to this new, fresh and first Risk of Rain 2 video on this channel. In this video, I want to help you to achieve the chunked achievement on the Artificer and unlock a new ability called the Nanospear. I have seen that many people struggle to get or to achieve this achievement by doing a one second burst damage or just to one shot the boss during a teleporter event you know i've failed many times too and i've been trying different kind of builds and a lot of things do work but if you want to go the easy route the fast route what i would recommend you to do is i'm not gonna say that now there are first things that i recommend uh that I would recommend you before you start. And that is that you need to unlock the Artificer. If you don't have the Artificer. And you're watching this. You need to find a Newt portal. Which looks uh, like this image as you can see right now. And you need to have at least 11 tokens to unlock the Artificer. 1 token for the portal. And 10 tokens for the character. Second, you need to have the Artifact of Command. This artifact lets you choose uh, your items. And I feel that this plays a very important role to get the required items that you need for your build to one-shot a boss during the teleporter event. And uh, the last thing that I would recommend is that you play the game on the easiest difficulty. Difficulty Drizzle. It's like a green smiley kind of image on the game. Y you know what I mean. It's very lovely. Uh, unless you want to one-shot the boss on mon Monsoon difficulty, hey, go ahead. I wouldn't uh, do it myself, but hey, why not? I'd praise and envy you if you did that. Anyway, if you're ready to take on the challenge, uh, what I would recommend you to do is, if you have the Artificer, of course, to find a Newt portal. And if you have the R ability, uh, Iron Surge on uh, the Artificer, you can leap high into the air. With that ability, most of the time in the first stage, you'll be able to find uh, the news portal. Like I just uh, also did in this video. And when you have more than, well, whatever, 30 tokens or whatever, you can spend a little bit on lunar items to get the shaped glass. And the shaped glass gives you 100% damage, but halves your health. And that is so strong. In the meantime, while well, you gather some crowbars and um, armor piece and rounds, you'll be able to just even in the first in the first three stages, you could be able to one shot the boss. It's that easy. Other than that, if you were to go uh, the longer route and want to build your items, I would recommend the armor piece and rounds, the crowbar, and the lens maker glasses so the other armor piecing rounds will give you an additional 20 percent damage to bosses and of course that item stacks just like the crowbar and the lens maker glasses the crowbar deals 150 percent damage to enemies above 90 percent health and you know when you start a teleporter event the boss has a 100 percent health so it's a very effective and it stacks 50 percent per stack i believe and Lensmaker Glasses give you 10% chance to critically strike, dealing double damage. Which comes in handy. It's not... If you don't have 10 of these, you likely will not be, be able to trigger it with your Nano Bomb. But hey, it's worth to get if, you're take if you take the longer route, of course. The fourth item would be Syringe. That increases your attack speed, but that's more for charging your Nano Bomb. If you were to uh, get green items, I just would use those for movement speed, like the Wax Quail or the Red Whip, that uh, aids you in movement speed and jumping. And red items uh, would just be Alien Head, which reduces skill cooldown by, cooldown by 25%, which is really great, but is it necessary? Not really, because you rarely come across those, unless you're like further in the stages of the game. Other than that, I don't have anything else to say while you get uh, your achievement. 
it's just really important that you just do not get damaged when you have the shaped glass because your health is very low and that's why i recommend iron surge because if you start the teleporter event you just leap in the air wait for the boss to spawn drop your nano bomb and bam you've done it you have achieved killing a boss in one shot that's what you want that's what i recommend and shape glass is really cool and if you're really enthralled by the game just try a lot of builds just uh just build with specific items or get all the items and stack everything to 10 or whatever just go ham with it but what i just told you is what i recommend you to get if you want to achieve this achievement thank you if you like this video as like i said at the start of the video this is my first video ever on risk of rain 2 so if you liked it press the like button and if you want more type of content like this uh, i would gladly make uh, some of uh, some new videos so please press the click that subscribe button and the notification bell and i'll see you guys next time bye